God. It's just <laughs> dark all the time. Whoa! Three masks! Look at she's all fixed it up. She's all fixed it up. sales from um, a friend of mine who works at a boat yard he was like hey they're crushing those two boats tomorrow with the front end motor so he's like anything you want off them is yours so the Anna and I were down there until like 11 o'clock at night we got like six sales off one of the boats but anyways that's how you fix a schooner with no money yeah I mean the boat stuff if you can sail into somewhere where it's just, you know, they're just throwing them away. Right. And then you can grab that hardware that you need. You know, this this boat is exactly what we were looking for. Where we grew up here on the, on the Cape, it's just, there's a lot of, um, you know, you wouldn't believe the stuff people throw away is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> the Sarah, we're gonna be fixing the Sarah. And, uh, you know, on how much money? Zero money. Zero. So. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Oh man, this is so cool. So right now we are using old masts that we cut up to make booms for our masts. And we're just trying to see, we had a lot of hardware that was left on the boat. Plus over the last, I don't know, eight months, we've gotten like four boats given to us. <laughs> so with all of that, we've had, um, Lots of hardware to have to go through to try to get all the stuff that we need together so that we can pull them out, the sails up. So that's what we're working on today. We definitely feel like we're in the final countdown a little bit though. We've gotten so much work done in the last couple of weeks, having all three of the masks up. We got most of the lifelines done. So we just start trying to scramble to get everything in order. We're so lucky this year with weather. So far it's been really mild. <clears throat> and we're trying to go before it gets freezing because last year at this time we were still here or we had just left on Alana and it was snowing so yeah. we're feeling yeah we're feeling pretty lucky this year right yeah the weather's been nice with reefing um you know everything's set up so it's going to be as quick as possible as good as possible here, let's let's flip this. Uh... I'm just trying to show a quick video of all the cool stuff that we got. Hold on. Are you working on George? I'm, fi I'm filming you because we're you know, okay. YouTubers. Um, I'm just trying to find, we're trying to find all the pieces. Um... To the puzzle. To the puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> One of the masks fits perfect. It didn't, this one, what boat did this come off of? You don't remember? Um, <laughs> the Pearson. Oh, the one that got demolished? No, the one we towed to Marsh Harbor for the family to live on. Oh, right, right, right. It, it's like a perfect fit. Yeah, so. One boom done, two to go. It is December 22nd. 2020, a couple days before Christmas, maybe a week or so until we sail out of here. Home has been very good to us this year. He's up there, he just strung the halyard through and I got it with this coat hanger. And now we're tying that off and now he's up there for a little while, he has to do the sail track, but in bigger news, it's hard for us to film with the kids and all the work, but yesterday the main mast and the mizzen got finished. So now we're just doing the fore mast and we might go for a sail today. We're starting with them double reefed because we have never sailed this boat before and it's a little windy out today. So we're gonna start small and work our way up as we learn because we have so much more sail to handle now. We're still not gonna put up the main. We have some sail tracks to put up. I am The sail's look beautiful too. They need a little bit of fun here, honestly, but it's windy.
Sweet Eleanor. Next week's video, we're going to be finally in some warmer weather to be doing all the work that we still have left to do on the Sarah G. And we are going to be doing a lot of that work in Puerto Rico. So you will see our journey there.